you're watching this video, you might be wondering what exactly is OPR if you have a house loan. So you want to know what the implication is, how it works, then I've done some research and I'm about to share it with you. So let's get to it. Come on, load. Okay. OPR stands for Overnight Policy Rate. It's an overnight interest rate that applies to money lent between financial institutions set by Bank Negara Malaysia. That's a simple definition. I'm not a financial expert. Again, if there's anything, please check with your bank officer or a financial expert to learn more, but I'm simplifying the whole process in a short and neat little video. So you understand the whole concept of it and our economy runs on debt slash interest that's why um, bank negara is cutting the opr so aggressively slashing it down and what i mean by running on debt as an economy is um, as consumers we buy stuff and to buy expensive stuff we need to take out loans for our homes um, we spend with our credit cards we travel and we transact overseas all these are some of the ways that banks earn money because um, through um, debt they gain they earn an interest on that debt so that's part of one of the ways that they make money of course there's many many ways i'm not going to go into that but um, i'm just going to go through these four sentences now so why why we need this OPR thing in the first place. So banks rely on lending as an important commercial activity. That's how they make money, including balancing their available cash reserves as set out by BNM. The interest rates we pay defined by OPR provide the framework for monetary direction on a national level that ensures banks have a stable supply of available cash. So banking sector very heavily uh, regulated and they must always maintain a certain liquidity otherwise um, you know the bank can go like bankrupt which is another topic for another day but it's unlikely to happen in modern times though it can happen. So any changes to this OPR rate often have a domino effect on a range of other economic factors beyond simply lending rates. So for example, employment and inflation on the cost of goods. And this happened because of this COVID-19 pandemic. And I want to show you the change over time. But let's get to the good and the bad the good thing is because it's slashed to 1.75 percent the most obvious thing is it's a lot cheaper to get a loan or to service an existing loan if you already have one because the interest rates are a lot less compared to what it was um, but on the other hand if you have a savings plan with the bank um, you've got reserves piled up there it just means that at this time your interest would be less so this is very obvious but to how how much is it so let's go through it a little bit um historically in the last five years and even in fact in the last 10 years if i'm not mistaken the opr has always fluctuated between three percent to three point two five percent you can see in the past six to seven months it's aggressive like three percent two point seven five two point five and then finally today July 7 at the time of recording 1.75% so it's quite a lot so it what does it mean for Malaysians well a slash in OPR rate directly impacts the BLR so the base lending rate and there's two kinds BLR which is for commercial banks and BFR which is I think it's financial Islamic but it's for Islamic loans but both of them are essentially something the same thing just different category to control interest rate so let's now talk about interest rate and I'm gonna slow down a little bit in this slide let's start with the loan amount right at the top 500,000 for a period of 30 years and on the left hand side is assuming everything is the same 3.5% base rate plus an interest rate of 0.8% by the bank so the total home loan interest rate is 4.3% your monthly repayment roughly two and a half thousand but if on the right column you slash by 0.5% you can see like 
it adds up so your monthly um, reduced to 2.3 thousand so it's like 100 over ringgit in savings month to month but over 30 years you can see the amount the difference is about 52,000 ringgit uh, which amounts to 13% savings so that is very significant so I hope this helps you to understand the impact you, you can see just now from 3% slash to 1.75% is quite drastic in terms of savings which helps the rakyat it's, a, it's kind of a good thing but during the pandemic so a bad situation that is why the bank is um, the government is acting so um, swiftly but in saying that though this is just a theoretical projection it's not reality because the OPR will fluctuate depending on how our economy is doing um, and I can never compute or predict because I'm not a financial expert but what I'll advise you to do is to check your loan documents and compare what savings um, you you have because well, right now we are we have the bank moratorium excuse the motto right now uh, we're going through a period of loan moratorium for six months and it could be or could not extend for a little longer but it ends in September so that's when um, you can see what the impact is um, so what I would advise is whatever savings you have during these uncertain times spend and invest it very wisely and yeah that's kind of a little summary of what OPR is I do want to highlight a property that we have on our listing and I'll get to it in a sec I want to introduce to you Cloud Tree Residence um, it's a really really nice condo in Sri Kembangan um, sort of low density I think four units per floor yeah so this particular unit um, is um, brand new um, three bedrooms two bathrooms one two six nine square feet um, so yeah Sri Kembangana and let's go through it it's in the middle floor unfurnished selling slightly below market value with up to four car parks and let me just share some photos I took all of this myself it's one of the nicest condos that I've been to um, let's just go through it this is the private swimming pool area this is the living room looking out to the balcony so this is view one and then this is the hallway um, I flew my drone up there to take a picture of the podium um, this is the private podium so there's two this is the private podium for this unit and then centrally there's another podium bigger swimming pool and sports facilities and garden jogging track um, yeah this is what it looks like um, bathroom uh, walkway leading to the master bedroom so I would only advise you to take up this place or oh, that's Nick and I flying our drones being happy but yeah I'll advise you to only consider this place um, if you kind of work in like for example Chera, Sri Kembangan or Bukit Jalil Kajang, Bangi or even uh, Putrajaya, Cyberjaya um, it's quite jammed from PJ or KL so um, not much public transportation not much options as well so yeah I would advise if you stay and for your own uh, home then probably a good investment but if you buy for like renting an Airbnb is a horrible idea I wouldn't advise um, this and yeah if you're interested um, please check our websites or links in the description below thank you so much for watching this episode if you are not sure or if you are shopping for a potential property to invest you're not sure how to do it you want to learn the whole process so I cover everything I've created a free course helping you to understand from A to Z Head on to www.homeownership.com.my for more information. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.